I mean, I, I think it's really important to say that we haven't proven that this is definitely um, this is definitely going to work. Um, but uh, you can easily imagine that. Um, it will make it easier for patients to enroll in studies um, and perhaps even bypass the need for patients when they have recurrent disease to go and get a surgical procedure to verify what was present before or is still present in terms of mutations. Um, uh, so I think it could potentially make it much easier, but I think we're still talking five years from now or maybe even further down the road. Um, uh, but, you know, five years ago, this wasn't even a a belief that it was possible. I mean, I think I think really the the explosion in technology and new techniques that really are available to scientists, you know, all over the world now, um, makes this really exciting time to be in, uh, you know, a physician scientist. It's really exciting. Um, you know, we can, you know, at Dana Farber in particular, but many institutions around around the world now. Um, there's uh, incredible access to um, the potential to do a lot of DNA sequencing, which just wasn't there five years ago. Definitely not ten, but even five years ago, it was a lot less. And so we can do so much more and, and, and much quicker now than we ever could before. It's really exciting.